engineers do it. Before we start today's video, I would like to ask all my viewers to subscribe to my YouTube channel How Engineers Do It, to share the video among all of your friends and also hit the bell icon to never miss another update. Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It and today we're going to learn how to create a dashboard in this manner. So I'll just show you how this dashboard works. So here I have the source data in which uh, the different weeks and the days and the number of defects and uh, which day of the month or which day of the week that day is. So here I have created another table in which uh, the data is uh, getting pulled from this uh, main table and uh, here I have uh, data validation from which if I select different uh, weeks the uh, dashboard is going to change accordingly. So this kind of uh, a representation will be helpful if, if you would like to show to your senior, ma senior management how your uh, uh, defect data works on uh, week by week. So let's say I have this, this data over here and I want to show week by week how my uh, 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 defect performance is. So if I am showing this table, this table is going to be a long one and I have to show it this way and it doesn't uh, really, uh, it's, it's not graphical, all right? So over here, this is more graphical and this is more readable. So if I'm talking about uh, week three, you can see uh, the most number of defects happened on Monday uh, on the 14th of January, which we have uh, five, five defects. So if I go for week five, uh, the most number of defects happened on Thursday, that's 31st of Jan. So in this way, we can represent the defects. So without further ado, let's go into the videos. Thank you. Now that we have the data being generated in the table according to the week, now the next thing would be to create a donut table. So in order to do that, what I would do is, I'll just uh, select the whole table over here and go for insert and go for the donut option over here right I'll select it now I'll just remove this number of defects and this legend over here I'll select this donut control C control V and I'll select the donut portion go for format data series and here I'll decrease the donut uh, whole size all right, now we have that donut being created. Now next thing what I would do is, I'll just go over here and go for add data labels and I'll add data label over here and over here as well. Okay, and here I'll select this, I'll go for and select the, uh, um, the data and I will go for category name I'll remove the value and show later lines. Now I have the the dates. All right. Now the next thing to do is I'll just add here equal to we look up this data in this whole table comma 3 exact match it. I'll drag this downwards and we have all this. I'll just put some comma here. Control C, Control V. All right. I'll put it back here. I'll put some table over here. Month. Okay, that's fine. It's not a problem. I'll just take this what I would do is I'll just pull it over here and we have that month coming over there all right now let's check whether that data is correctly getting populated in all the other months so you can see on Monday also yeah there is no issue with the uh, table now we'll also change the color formatting of this I'll go for insert, um, probably I should go to the design and I'll just take some, some vibrant colors and what I would do is I'll 
in order to make the text stand out I'll go for control B and I'll change the text color to white here also I'll just change it control B and I'll put it to white color all right and also I can ch change the size and here also I can change the size a bit all right I'm just going to make this a little bigger and also I'll just remove this portion here okay mm -hmm. now I'm just going to change the different weeks and you can see that the data is getting changed accordingly so week two we had uh, on uh, week two we had the maximum number of defects on uh, wednesday that's the 9th of january and uh, maybe on week four we had the number of uh, highest number of defects uh, on monday and tuesday 21st and 22nd of january so I hope uh, there's nothing else which I had left out to explain and if at all I did you can uh, comment be below the video and I'll uh, get back to you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this uh, tip is going to help you in uh, your uh, data presentation and dashboards. For more tips and tricks stay tuned, subscribe, like my videos and uh, thank you so much.